Hey everyone, Beth with Crafty Corner. Today I am going to make this beaching, not teaching towel, beach towel for a end of the year teacher gift for my children's teachers. You could use this concept really to make any sort of personalized beach towel with a name or a fun saying, anything that you are wanting. Let's go ahead and jump in. These are the towels I'm using. I got them from Walmart for pretty cheap. First, I always take my flexible measuring tape and measure the space that I have that I'm working with so I know kind of about what size I want to make my um, decal. Go ahead and upload your image into Design Space. And you're gonna want to size it uh, to whatever you just measured and however big you want it on your towel. I want it 30 inches wide. Um, with Smart Vinyl, you cannot cut any um, wider, obviously, once it's going this way, um, than 11.7. So we're good there underneath that. And you could do this on a uh, Explore Air 2 or the original Maker with regular vinyl on a mat. Um, you would be limited to the 12 by 24 mat, however, so your sizing would just be under that, which um, you definitely can do, but with the new machines, the Explore 3 and the Maker 3, um, what's awesome is you can do such um, bigger and longer cups, which is really, really nice. Also, the fact that you don't need a mat. Let's go ahead and make it. And it's first going to show what it's going to look like on the mat. We are actually going to be using iron-on in this case, so I need to mirror it. Again, you'll be able to see it mirrored. Here you'll see um, what size material you're going to need. And continue. It's then going to look for my Maker 3 via Bluetooth. And then I'm going to select Smart Iron-on. It's going to tell us to make sure that our mirror is turned on and when we're putting in our iron on, uh, we want to make sure that the shiny side is down. So let's go ahead and get this cut. I'm using Smart Iron On or Heat Transfer Vinyl. So I'm going to open up this box, let's take it out. Remember there is a dull side and a shiny side. That shiny side is the carrying sheet. So we actually want to put that face down. Put it right under those little notches there. Up against the roller and hit the load button. First it's going to see if it is aligned straight. So it'll pull it in just a little bit and pull it back out. And then it's actually gonna make sure that we have enough vinyl for the entire um, image. So it'll pull it all the way in. So make sure there's enough room behind your machine. And then it will pull it all the way back to the beginning. Then as soon as it's done checking, that go button will start flashing. And if you push it, it will start cutting. Then we'll take our weeder and just weed the whole design. Just kind of going slow, um, just pulling back that iron on, watching each little section there, pulling it all out.
I first do a little quick iron just to kind of flatten all those um, creases out and give it a pre, pre press there. Then I fold the towel in half and make a crease right down the middle so that I know um, where that middle is. And then I take my image here cut out of the iron on and I fold that in half and make a crease in the carrier sheet as well. Then what I can do is actually line up that crease of the middle of the image with the crease of the middle of the towel. Then I'll take my Easy Press, uh, temp 330, and I will just press each section for 30 seconds. Just kind of making my way down the towel, um, you know, just each little section one by one. And then you can take the carrier sheet off. I actually then added the teacher's name to one end of the towel, paired it with some sunscreen, and it was such a great gift. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, give us a comment. Otherwise, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.